Okay, so I am mostly done with my frame for my, I know I can't, I got tired of trying to figure out how to keep within the, the law to make my greenhouse because the city of Tampa is just silly, crazy, ridiculous about wanting money for everything and even that shed that I built in the back, apparently, I was supposed to get, um, uh, you know, justification or verification or, and pay some $75 for somebody to tell me that I could have that on my property. Um, and just, you know, one of my neighbors said to me, she said, well, what's done is done, you know. It, it's it's going to have to be beg forgiveness. And so I decided that since I don't use this other bedroom right now, um, I'm gonna do my prototype in here and of course not seal any of the piping or anything. Um, but anyway, that being said, so overall I decided to go with a smaller version um, to get my theory down. And so um, there's a couple of, of these versions of these out there on the market. Um, I was trying to find out, you know, what the, if there was any kind of patents or anything like that. And, of course, I couldn't really find them because they're, they have weird names and not ones that you would think can't look in Rotary Garden or anything like that. So, um, what I did was I used some of those ideas and kind of enmeshed it to make my own. And so this is all done with three inch piping, uh, PVC piping. It is the full schedule 40 piping. Um, so it's the solid version. Whereas the wheels of the actual rotary are going to be um, the four inch, um, but it's going to be the foam core because it's not going to be that long and we don't have to worry about it sagging so much. So these are roly roly things. Um, and so I ordered, having been in the Navy, I thought about, what am I going to have these roll on? So I actually got bow rollers. Um, they're things that small boats get pulled up on trailers with. They're shaped like a big hourglass, but it's going to have like a V in the middle. So the wheel will sit right here and over there and also over here and over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set up something to where we'll have a pulley in the middle and I don't really know if we're gonna need to put a driven down on that end or we're, we're just gonna feel it out but either way we can use the same motor sitting like this and we can set up a pulley system to turn both sides and so, of course, all we have to get it to do is rotate one rotation per hour. And so, um, this is actually where the, the light bar is going to go through the middle. And um, down here, I have to drill a hole in the back of here because I couldn't find the one I wanted. Um, I wanted a, um, whatever in the hell that's called. Um, but they didn't have those. So, I'm going to just drill the back part of this out so the water tubing and everything can go down here and the mist sprayer system is going to be across the middle there which I'm going to be using straight up water sprinkler stuff and um, the emitters that I have are right here and so What's going to happen is there's going to be one of these for every hole and um, this is going to be in a piece of, of this but there's going to be little white tubes that come up this way and hold these so every time that it comes around like if this is the the plant and it comes around to here like this the minute it comes over here that's going to spray and then shut off. So we're going to have to get, I don't know if this is going to work or not because it's kind of bendy. 
Um, I might have to make this shorter to give it less room to flex, but either way I was thinking of putting it in a, a channel of PVC, white PVC smaller, to kind of hold it in place. But I'm going to have to play with that. My awesome brother got me a bunch of um, research pumps that they use for industrial air conditioning systems. Um, for here in Florida, we have a lot of problems with humidity, as everyone knows. And um, so they need those. So right now, none of this is um, glued. So if things look crooked right now, like this, um, this is not going to be the support. This is going to be the light bar that's going to go through the middle and there's going to be 360 degree lights. Um, I just haven't decided on which ones to use and um, I need to see if I can audit a class on LED lights somewhere um, and figure that out. But right now I, for my wheel, the, the wheel of the Rotary Garden, um, originally I had wanted to go with marine board plywood. Well, I really wanted to go with, um, what do you call it, um, that hard plastic pieces. But of course that stuff's incredibly, incredibly expensive for my budget. Um, but anyway, so what I did was I got some red oak, um, three quarter inch plywood. And um, what I'm going to have to do is once I get done cutting the circle, the big wheel in it um, and then I'm done cutting those parts the the center for the light bar um, and then also to hold the tubing in place everybody was saying oh you got to use this that and the other thing and um, this is actually a um, a drain for a shower and Normally the four four inch PVC goes into that and it drains and the little the little metal thing goes across there for your drain. Well, this is schedule 40 and um, the PVC pipe that I'm going to be using is actually foam core, which I have to tell you I was so trying to figure out what I could sell to be able to buy the four inch uh, PVC piping, but um, that's my window. I put that in. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, so I bought all eight of those um, for 40 bucks, 49 something after my, my veteran discount. Um, and so those are going to ha have the holes cut in them. But instead of the way everyone else is gone, which is, you know, the water sprays into the plant and then it drains down the pipe. This is actually, this is going to be kind of a wetter version um, because, yeah. So I got some of this um, PVC food grade um, stuff and I'm actually going to roll it into a tube, kind of like that piece right there, and I'm going to cut a hole in the middle of the the four inch that's big enough for the the cup that's going to hold the plant and there's going to be a throat on it and it's going to be long enough to stick out the bottom a little bit to help you know protect the roots from being you know too much light on them and then um, an easier way to connect it so the plant doesn't jiggle around so um, and I've, I watched a guy's film and it actually was an easy way to put it in there without using any glue or anything. It actually uses tie wrap. So when you stick the thing in there, you put it in, you put the tie wrap around the top, and then you put the tie wrap around the bottom and it keeps it from going anywhere, which is super cool. So uh, back to this, I had originally thought about running this all the way through and then that way it could drive that way. Um, and I still may do that it's just that this steel rod is kind of expensive 
to get it um, relatively straight. The other rod that they sell that's not really that straight and um, was just worried it was going to like flop around in there um, was less expensive and would go the distance. But um, I'm thinking I may actually be able to um, buy the, well I actually have bought these as you can see. I have four of these and as you see here this one will go this far and then that's over halfway and then this will go this far. So if I can find some way to join these, um, I'm looking into these um, metal couplers which look like it's just two sleeves facing in opposite directions and you stick one end in and you stick one in the other and you you just use like a a torch to lock it into place. Um, but I am also going to put one of these here to help hold the, the thing properly. Now if I go the, the whole distance then I'll probably have the motor here so it drives from here and if they're going to all be connected, which actually seems to be a little bit less moving parts, so we'll probably do it that way. So anyway, oops, sorry. So each one of the big wheels is going to sit here and here. This is approximately, well, it is, I, I measured it pretty, pretty well. It's, it's actually like six inches and a tenth, or I'm sorry, six feet and a tenth. Um, so I'm going to have eight spokes and it's that's gonna be what it's gonna be so i'm i'm actually really really excited um with this and my gofundme account didn't do real well i just don't think i know how to use it properly because there was people on there girl was getting a breast enlargement and people gave her like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars and i'm just trying to be able to you know keep myself off food stamps but you know she's also hot so I, I guess people are more likely to help hot people but I'm definitely not hot but my dog is he's so helpful <laughs> anyway um so that's where we are right now I'm extremely excited um and I just have to try to cut the wheels and make sure that they're properly round <laughs> so Remember, emotions are gifts you give yourself, and nobody can give them or take them away from you. And you guys have a great weekend, and thank you so much for checking me out.